Back to Chicago, Loch Ness. Assignment's over. No more Scottish countryside. I didn't come out of the deal too badly. Alan Parker Cameron, private detective, international reputation. <laughs> well now, Moira, the beautiful Moira McFarley. Little girl with a flashy appearance. But what a rotten Scottish character. Not afraid of anything, that girl. She risked her life for her father. Without her, <laughs> and this magnificent creature just comes out of nowhere, I don't know where the brilliant Cameron would be today. Especially since not everybody was delighted by my presence in the land of my ancestors. And the atmosphere at the Devil's End Manor. Ooh. I've looked everywhere in the damn house, from the attic to the cellar. I even almost stayed for keeps in the murky waters of the lock in search of this cursed legend. Ah, these family stories. All because my father bequeathed me the same jewel as the McFarleys. A poisoned inheritance, you can say that for sure. Oh well. Have to admit that the old lord's telegram came at the right time. Getting out of Chicago for a while certainly didn't do me any harm. And breathing the fresh air of old Scotland while helping out a family friend? Why not? Parker Cameron, private detective. Lord McFarley is expecting me. Indeed, sir, you are expected. Lord McFarley has taken leave. If you would please follow me, I will inform Lady McFarley of your arrival. Alan Parker Cameron, private detective. Investigations of all sorts, discretion assured. Your husband has asked me to put my modest talents at his disposition. And so, well, here I am. Good day, young man. As a matter of fact, my husband has spoken of you. You are Sean Cameron's son, are you not? Oh, Sean. You have arrived too late. My husband has disappeared. He's been kidnapped. And my daughter Moira won't be back until tomorrow. Oh, she would have known what to do. It's him. It could only be him. His anger is beyond measure. He came to venge himself. And he brought evil with him. It is a story beyond your understanding. Nothing you can do. Nothing anybody can do. Do not worry, sir. She will be fine in a moment. Your room is ready. It's on the first floor. Bloody hell, that woman is out of her mind. What could possibly have frightened her so much?
My bag is here. Good thing I hid that stone. The Cameron Crystal. <laughs> Who'd have thought that this rock would oblige me to stay sober? woman has got to cut back on the caffeine. <laughs> she needs professional help. Hey, let's see those pills. Three crystals. Three jewels. Three tears. 
bearers of light for the Banshee. She's waiting for them. The Banshee could help you. Often walking in the park she is, near to the Celtic Cross, in the dead of night. Look in my chest of jewels. If you are indeed the man you claim to be, you will understand. are starting to make sense. What the... Oh, man. Can't a guy get a little light? What's going on here?
To hell with that Banshee's advice. Nothing hits the spot like some fine Cameron whiskey. I think I saw some glasses in the sitting room. Parker Cameron, last descendant of the Camerons of Inverness. So, finally, you come to me in search of the truth. I have several versions to propose, but the choice is all yours. Uh, let's not complicate matters any more than necessary. I'm a little thick at the best of times, and the way you're looking at me doesn't exactly ease my mind. I'm looking for a Scottish lord been hired by his wife, who, from the looks of it, could do with a relaxing cruise far away from this place. This place is my own. Lady Ursula knows only too well. I am the living memory of the Macfarleys and the Crystal of Serdach. The Crystal of Serdach? The Three Crystals of Serdach. Forgetting the classics, young man. The Book of Caelia tells the story of Sirdar, the druid, to whom the gods gave a most precious stone. A black and green crystal, capable of concentrating the sun's rays into an emanation of pure energy. It was Sirdar's task to offer this divine power to the future Celtic kings, the day of their coronation. A woman stole the crystal. Find the woman. All memory of her has disappeared, even her name. But her thievery has instilled in us a keen sense of horror. The crystal broke into three identical pieces. These were entrusted to the McGrabs, McFarleys, and the Cambrians. You see now that it is no accident that brings you home to Loch Ness. You're here to play the role of the detective. At least, this is the version which you've currently chosen, is it not? Okay, so much for legends. I'll tell it to my grandchildren if I ever get around to having kids, but today's story is... what? Find the man. He who wishes to reunite the crystals. He has a sinister plan for the century. A dark plot where for many there will be no future. But then... Let's hope it is only a legend. 
That would be more comforting. Because, for the banished, even the most ghastly of deaths is preferable to what horrors await them. Eternal damnation of the spirit and the decomposition of the soul. Cameron, accept this mission. Your spirit is ready. Beware of women and of whiskey.